He could run, if he wanted to, 12, 13 miles per hour, and I'm not that fast, but I'm faster than Brian, so we're good. But <laughs> he's not going to try to chase me as much as he is going to try to get away from me because he makes his living doing what we call aquatic ambush. So what he's going to do is sit around the water's edge. He's going to wait for said creature to come to take a drink. He's going to use that powerful tail. He's going to lunge out. Once those jaws on this animal engage a said creature, um, you are not getting away because an alligator this size is going to bite in that upper 2,000 pound range, probably 28 to 2,900 pounds of overall force. Now, now, see, I forgot to tell y'all he's a legs man. Now. You notice he did not take any time to enjoy that leg because an alligator's teeth, hang on the rail, are not designed to grab and chew. They are designed to grab something and essentially pulverize it on impact. So bones do not break. Uh, they essentially implode. Now, if you wanted to talk about a pressure format, um, we can talk PSI. We can take Captain Crunch, for instance. Um, his overall bite force, give you a couple chicken quarters, around, was 2,982 pounds of overall force. In pressure, that would be about 360,000 PSI. So again, bones don't break. They just essentially implode on contact. Now, hey, big boy. Don't worry, I'm gonna stick my head in his mouth. I'm just kidding. Now, <laughs> now the stomach capacity uh, is what is very impressive. Come on, sweetheart, get up here uh, on an alligator like Doral. If you could imagine, you know, he could eat about a fifth of what he weighs. So, that's cool, isn't it? Um, he could eat, we're talking, you know, 150, 160 pound animal. Now, that would be like a deer or a pig. Now, could he swallow that whole? Oh, we got a girl coming up over there. But um, he can swallow about a 60 to 70 pound animal whole, which would be like a deer, you know, some, uh, you know small deer, small pig.